Hey, how are we doing good? It's Chris here from Six Dream Finger Picking, and in this video, we're learning Eva Cassidy's version of Over the Rainbow. So for this one we're in standard tuning and we have a capo on the first fret. Get that sorted and you're good to go. First off the intro which goes like this. Okay, so it's a G add 9 chord to start off with and you're playing the third fret on the low E string and the second fret on the G string. So you want to play those two strings together with the B string open. Okay, followed by the D string. And then you're going to play the G and the B string together, but this time you keep your second finger held down, that's going to remain on for the whole of the G add 9 chord. But this time add the third fret on the B string here. Okay, so. So you play those two together with that pinky held down. So from the beginning. And then you go back to the D string. Then you play the G and the B together, but this time open B and second fret on the G. And you kind of just alternate that, so the open D string, then you put your pinky back on, open D string, take your pinky off. So like... So you get one, And then the last note of the bar, on the end of four, you play an open E string. So you get. And then you go to an A minor seven. So you just hold down an A minor seven. And you play, so that's going to be the open A string with the open G and the first fret on the B. Play those together. And then the D string second fret. And this time we're alternating between the first fret on the B and the third fret on the B. Okay, so we've played the A, the G, and the first fret on the B, D string second fret, and then this time we're going to play the open G with the third fret on the B. Back to the D string second fret, then we lift off again that pinky, and we play the open G with the first on the B, and then back to the D string second, and then pinky goes back on. Okay, so you've gone. And then the last note of the bar is just an open D string, so you get... So, so far. And then. So what I'm doing now, I'm playing the third fret on the high E string, and then the fifth on the B and the fifth on the G. And what I'll do is I play the, the high E string with the D string open. So the D string is open, third fret on the high E. And then with those fingers held down, play the G string, the B, and then the G. So you've gone. And then E, G, and then open A. So. And that is your intro. So all together. into so then it goes straight into the chorus and I'll play it for you and then I'll break it down
Okay, so that's it, and that all goes around twice. Oh, and that's the chorus. So there's a lot of chords, but really you're just arpeggiating your way through these pretty straightforward chords. As long as you're okay with bar chords and things like that. So it starts on that G add 9 chord that we did in the intro. So that's the third fret on the low E string, second fret on the G, and then also the third fret on the high E. And really we're just arpeggiating, so I'll call out the strings E, D, G, B, E, D, G. And then we get the second fret on the low E string, and that walks down to the E minor, so like... Um, E minor. And we pretty much do, well it's very similar in the picking hand. So holding down at E minor, I'll play the E, D, G, B, high E, D, G, B. This pattern is one that we use on a lot of the chords for the E minor. So then we get a, a B minor 7 and we do exactly the same thing on the B minor 7. For anyone that doesn't know a B minor 7, uh, from the A string, we play a 2, 4, 2, 3, 2. And exactly the same in the picking hand. So that's A, D, G, B, E, B. Sorry. A, D, G, B, E, D, B, G. Okay? And then to a G7 chord, so if you don't know what that is, from the third fret on the low E string, three, uh, sorry, three, five, three, four, three, three. And we play E, D, G, B, E, D, B, G. So, so far. Then we go to a C chord. We do exactly the same as we did on the... Um, on the B B minor seven in the in the picking hand, so it's A D G B E D B G. Then a C minor seven, which is exactly the same as the B minor seven, just pushed up one fret. This time I'll play the A string and the B string, and then I'll just pick D G B E, and then let the last note sustain for the rest of the bar. Okay, so from the C, back to the G add 9, and uh, I'll play the E string with the B string, followed by D, G, B, E, D, B, G. So, then a G7, so I'm holding down the 3rd fret on the low E string and the 1st fret on the high E string. Play those two together, followed by open D, open B, open G, so you've gone. And then it's A minus 7, but you just need your first finger on the first fret of the B string. Play that with open A, then open G, and then a G slash B, so I'm playing the second fret on the A string with the third fret of the B. Play those two together, followed by open G, so you've got... nice part. Okay, so so far, because we've done quite a lot, G add 9, down to E minor, B minor 7, G7, C, C minor 7, G add 9, G7, A minor, G slash B, straight back to a C chord. And on holding down a C chord, I'll play the A and the high E together, and then pick right the way up the strings. D, G, B, E, D, B, G. C minor seven, and um, A and the B together, and then D, G, B, high E, D, B, G. Just do a G chord now, and you just need your third finger, or your second finger, it doesn't really matter, on the low E string, third fret. Play that with the open B string. D, G, D. 
and then G slash F sharp, so we put the F sharp in the bass, it's just the second fret on the low E string, play that, followed by open D, open G, open B. So down to an E minor. Same picking pattern as before, E, D, G, B, E, D, G, sorry, D, B, G. And then after that, we get to an A minor seven. And this, this, the next four bars go like this. So an A minor seven, but then also put your pinky on the third fret high E string, and you're gonna play that open A string with the high E third fret, and then D G B open high E. So you get followed by open G, and then hammer the second fret to the third fret, or you could slide it; doesn't actually matter on the high E string. So you get. And then that goes to a D7 sus4. So you're going to play the uh, where you want to fret the second on the G, the first on the B, and the third on the high E. And once you've got that, play the high E string with the open D, and then the G string second, the B string first, and then the G string second again. So you go. And then you want to put the second fret in the low E string, play that, followed by open D, second on the G, and first on the B. So you've got so far. You may want to use your second finger, you don't have to play it exactly as I am. But I like to use my thumb. And that goes back to G add 9. And so holding down a full G add 9 chord, play the G string, sorry, the E string and the open B. And then D, G, B, E, D, B. And then I do the second fret on the G and pull off to open, so like. And then to an A minor seven, holding down an A minor seven, play that A string and the B string, then the D, the G, and then the D. And then we get a D slash F sharp, and you're gonna play the E string, second fret, and the B string, third fret. Open D, second on the G, and open. D again, so so the whole of those those four bars. Okay, and then that all goes round again. So I'll play the chorus for you once more, nice and slow. straight back and that all happens again so that's the chorus so in this video we've covered the intro and as I said the chorus if you want the whole lesson that's available on the website so if you're watching this on YouTube just follow the link down in the description and you're gonna get the whole lesson right away okay so that's it for this lesson I really hope you've enjoyed if you did please don't forget to like share subscribe and head over to sixstringfingerpicking.com where you can get the remainder of this lesson and loads more fingerstyle guitar lessons I'll see you next time thanks a lot bye bye